After spending over two weeks in Albania, I decided to make my way over to the Greek island of Corfu, located only about 30 kilometers from the Albanian coast. My trip to Corfu was not exactly what I expected. I'm gonna show you something absolutely insane, something you probably haven't seen before. I don't know what it is about Corfu, but I ended up traveling to four different Greek islands this summer, and I can tell you that there is something very special about this island. From the beautiful nature, Corfu is actually known as one of the most green islands in Greece. To the unique architecture and very lively town, Corfu is not a place you should miss when you're traveling to Greece. So in this video, I will show you what you can do in Corfu and some of the highlights that this beautiful island has to offer and hopefully give you back some of that good energy that Corfu brought to my life. Yo guys, what is up? I hope you're all doing great. We have officially made it to Greece. We are in the beautiful island of Corfu. I came here because I wanted to have an excuse to eat a lot of feta cheese. Um, if you ever look inside my fridge, you won't find much, but one thing you'll always find is feta cheese. So I decided to go to the source. Besides feta cheese, why does one travel to Greece, in case you're wondering? Well, because of this freaking beautiful blue water and cute looking white buildings like the church behind me. arrived in Greece yesterday after two weeks in Albania so let's rewind to the journey it's 3 p.m. and I am in Albania waiting for my ferry to Greece it's a really short distance so the ferry ride is gonna take about two and a half hour the only good thing that came out of the fact that I slapped this huge suitcase all across Albania with me is the fact that I can occasionally sit on it. I'm gonna show you something absolutely insane, something you probably haven't seen before. So I'm staying at a hotel called Corfu Holiday Palace. It's located right on top of this hill. I'm gonna show you in a bit. And yesterday when I arrived, I went out for a walk just to check out the area and I discovered something extremely cool. So as you see, there is this path here and it seems like everyone is walking that direction. So that's also what I did yesterday. I was like, if everyone is going there, I'm gonna go there as well, right? So what I discovered was that this path, which is really just some concrete in the sea, is less than 200 meters from the runway of the Corfu airport. And people go there to watch the planes land. So if you do want to see a plane basically landing on top of your head, I would very highly recommend going there. I actually thought that was really cool. So I decided to come to Greece for a couple of days to just relax after that very stressful holiday I just had in Albania. No, I'm obviously joking. I had freaking amazing time in Albania and I'm so excited to edit the vlogs, but I traveled around a lot. So I'm just looking forward to spending a couple of days at the beach here in Greece and just eating a lot of feta cheese. Another reason why I decided to come to Greece is because flying internationally from here is way more convenient. I was in the very south of Albania and Sarande, so I would have to go all the way back to Tirana to fly back home and that would be like six to seven hours drive so it was just way more convenient to take the ferry the ferry was only one and a half hour over to Greece and fly from here and as you can see the airport is like literally right here I am basically like staying at the airport this olive really looks like a sausage it's not though, it's an olive. So, good. so for my first official, I say official because obviously this is not my first meal in Greece. I just didn't vlog the other meals. I am having tzatziki with some bread and then I'll be having moussaka with feta cheese, ops, feta cheese salad. It's 
to be more specific. The hard part of um, having dinner here in Greece is that there are just so many good dishes so I can never decide what I'm supposed to have because everything is good, honestly. Besides the fact that I just burnt myself, it's very good. I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't have taken some baklava to go. Uh, I freaking love baklava. Baklava might be possibly my favorite dessert ever. I had it about 10 times in uh, Albania, which basically means I had it like almost every single day. Um, but you know what? I mean, I'm in Greece. I, I need to try Greek baklava. Unboxing of my baklava. Oh, that looks good. Dude on a motorbike almost drove over my camera, which is probably why you shouldn't leave your camera at the middle of the street to film yourself climbing that street. You live and you learn. Today we will be exploring Corfu Town. Corfu Town is the biggest town here in Corfu. Oh, cute little cat. The population is about 50,000 people and you can definitely feel that this is like a bigger city. Uh, there are tons of people here. I guess the majority of people are probably tourists, but there are a lot of people, a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants. Things are really happening here, but I do already absolutely love it here. The architecture is so pretty. All the buildings are so colorful and there are cats everywhere, which it's just a plus. So as you can probably tell, Corfu town looks quite different compared to many other Greek cities since in the past Corfu was ruled and very much influenced by Republic of Venice and the British and that definitely shows in the architecture. I love how in the south of Europe there's always just laundry hanging everywhere. They seem to have a lot of laundry here. Um, Maybe it's because of the heat. It, it, it is possible because of the heat. And also you can actually, okay, let's not get into the laundry now, but it's kind of cute. It's, it's charming. Also laundry hanging random places always reminds me of China uh, because they also have a lot of laundry hanging in very random places in China. And by the way, if you're watching this vlog and you didn't know, I have recently published my book. I lived in Shanghai. It's my very first book. The first book I've ever written and the first book I've ever published. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Uh, yeah, it's a book about my experience living in China. So had to quickly plug myself here. Well, it's my vlog. I can plug myself wherever I want, so. Freaking beautiful is this? The colors here. My friend who has just visited Corfu told me not to miss the gardens by the Asian Museum of Corfu. If I had more time and more willpower, I would probably see the Asian Museum of Corfu as well. But I might not have that, uh, so just gonna see the gardens. We'll see, maybe I'll have time, I'll just pop by. It's a, it's a beautiful museum. I wish I had time to go inside, but I don't because um, the level of feta cheese in my blood is extremely low at the moment. I haven't had feta cheese since breakfast, so I must go and find a restaurant where I can, you know, fill up on that um, feta cheese, basically. My friend also recommended me a restaurant. It's called Restaurant Bungaville, so I'm gonna go there right now because I'm already starving. Perfect, thank you. So I just ordered three different dishes because I couldn't decide um, which is story of my life. I've ordered a Greek salad, ovs. Um, oh shit, I'm also having baklava later. I, I don't know how I'm gonna fit it all. Well, uh, moussaka also, ovs and tzatziki. I guess this whole menu was very obvious because this is what I've been eating literally like every single day since I came to Greece. I'm not being very adventurous with my food, but to be honest, it's like, you know, I know what I want, so. So 
So the plan for today is to just chill at the beach and at the pool. The place where I'm staying at is located on this beautiful cliff overlooking the ocean, the sea. Why am I saying ocean? I'm not American. And uh, yeah, this is, this is my room. It's currently very messy. Who made it messy? Me. By the way, am I like the only person who loves to just like hang out in the room when you're staying in a nice-ish place? I always feel so guilty because there is beach and there is pool and all these nice places and I just spent like two hours hanging out in my room this morning just like drinking coffee and dancing around, you know, having just like a little dancing party with myself but it is kind of nice though, right? Exactly the same thing I did at the pool, meaning nothing, just at the beach. As I told you, this hotel is located on a cliff, so that's why there is this elevator here that you can take a down to the beach. It's pretty cool. So every day I would come to the beach and bring a book to read and my phone to listen to some music, you know, the usual. And I swear to God, every single day I would just end up sitting there doing absolutely nothing and just staring at the view. Not reading, not listening to music. I barely open Instagram. It was very weird and I can't even explain what happened it was almost like being in such a beautiful place made me feel like i could allow myself to slow down and just simply exist and not do anything and for the first time in a while i was okay with not doing anything um so i would just sit there eat fruits journal i did journal a lot um and i went swimming and that was pretty much it and after these couple of days i spent in corfu all of a sudden it was like something just clicked in my head and i felt happier than i felt in months <laughs> So I'm editing this video right now and I just quickly wanted to jump in here and tell you that dreams do come true. No, but I did find this clip of me walking around Corfu town at night and saying how much I love Greece and that I hope that I'll get a chance to travel more around Greece and see more Greek island. And I certainly did enjoy being here in Greece. It's such a freaking lovely country that really makes me want to just travel more around Greece. Uh, hopefully I will do that in the near future, but yeah, from now we're going back home i already had my tickets back home so after a couple of days in corfu i flew back home to warsaw and the next day i landed home and just for fun i decided to check tickets to santorini i always always really really wanted to see santorini it was always a dream of mine because well obviously santorini right i've never been um, so I checked those tickets and it turned out that there are, or during the summer, there were direct flights from Warsaw to Santorini and I found a direct flight, I kid you not, for, drumroll, 50 freaking euro. Can you believe it? 50 euro, that's really not a lot for a three hour flight directly from Poland to Greece, you know? without any changes or anything. It would definitely cost me the same to travel from Corfu to Santorini, if not more. Actually, when I was there, I even checked just like, just to see, uh, and there was no direct flight, so I would have to fly through Athens anyways, and Corfu is quite far from Santorini, so a boat ride would be a lot. Basically, long story short, after this vlog that you're watching right now, 
I ended up going home, spending some time at home in Warsaw, and then I flew back to Greece. I went to Santorini, and I also ended up going to Paros and Mykonos. So this is not the end of my like Greek travel series. You will be seeing more videos from my Greek holiday. Uh, and I'm so excited to share those videos with you, because as you could see here, Corfu was like really a very positive time for me. It was just... It, I don't know what it was. I guess it was the beauty of nature um, and the fact that something just like literally clicked in my head and I just felt so good. I felt so much better than I felt in months. I think it was also the stress of quitting my full-time job, um, you know, focusing on YouTube full-time, publishing my book, trying to do whatever I can to promote my book and push it out there and you know, being being alone with all this and not really knowing what I'm doing and only having myself to depend on, I think that the stress of all that just really got to me and I had like several breakdowns during the summer and then traveling again in Albania and then going to Corfu and really like relaxing, being in nature and just fucking, you know, doing nothing basically, uh, just really... It was good for me. I know now I'm like rambling, but I'm gonna finish my thought. And I know when you're watching that, you might think, oh, like, obviously it's good for you to be in a beautiful, you know, island, look at nature, swim in the sea. That's obvious. Um, yeah, it is obvious, but sometimes I feel like I even tend to forget that. Um, and being there really kind of reminded me that, like, this is life. Like, this is why we live. This is why we work. We work hard to be able to afford to go to places like this and relax and uh refresh and you know be in a beautiful place be in nature and i think the key is really to be able to you know afford to be able to allow yourself to go to places like that i don't think the solution would be like to just like move to a place like this and live on an island forever because then it loses a charm anyways now i'm just like totally rambling um i am super excited to share with you my other grease videos i have about four or five videos coming out and yeah I hopefully see you soon. Bye.